Sherlyn Bansy. Hi, Chuckies. Sherlyn Bansy. So, welcome to what is the second episode of my new YouTube show called Guess What? Guess What? Guess What? And what it is, is I answer the questions for you that you leave on either my YouTube site, Facebook site, Instagram site, Twitch site, you know, all the different sites. And I'll answer them in a YouTube. So let's do today's question. And that is on my Facebook site. And it's from Marley Hymas. And she wants to know, Sherilyn Barnes, I want to know how you and Terry met. And was he your first love, Chucky? The answer is no. He was not my first love. I was actually with a bloke called Graham for five years. You know, we had our ups and we had our downs, you know, just like any other um, romantic, you know, um, couple, you know. How did Terry and I first meet? Me and Graham were meant to drive to Perth because he thought it would be a little bit of fun. He loves all that stuff, you know, driving all around the country and whatnot. No, I don't like any of that stuff. But I said, fine, yeah, we'll do it, just to shut you up. But then it came to the Friday before we were supposed to leave. And I was like, is the motel going to have toothpaste or do I have to pack my own? And he said, there is no motel. And I said... Hang on a minute. You want me to go all the way to Perth with you and we won't not be staying in any motels at all? And he said, no, I thought it'd be fun to sleep out of my car. Just like I did with my mates when we went to Byron's Bay. Because, you know, he had a pedal van and I said, I'm not just one of your mates. You either treat me like a princess or I don't go. And so he said, come on, try something new. You've got to get out. And I said, sorry, Chucky, that's it now. I'm not going, so bye, see ya, go without me, because I'm not going. So he said, stuff ya, and he went. So I was crying all night. I called up my girlfriends, and I told them what happened. So they came around, and they said, well, you know what? Janelle's younger brother's friend's 21st is on tonight, so we should all go to that. And I said, Chucky, I'm 26 now, you know, I'm getting a bit old to be hanging around with 20-year-olds and whatnot. Anyway, they pulled my leg, and we went. At first I was grumpy, you know, I didn't even want to be there, but eventually uh, I started talking to this bloke called Terry. And he was feeding me drinks all night, have a drink, have a drink, yeah, rah, rah. And so eventually I got pretty pissed and he was talking about how he likes older birds and all of that. And so I got even more drunk and then I'm actually walking him up the stairs and we found the nearest bedroom. So we started making love. And Terry says, I don't know if I believe, but he says it was his first time. So anyway, I went home that night. And a few weeks passed and, you know, Graham's back home now and I didn't tell him about it. I feel absolutely dreadful because I do not like to cheat. I had only done it twice before that. You know, things happen. I didn't mean to do it. A few weeks passed, I was having a few pains. I went to the doctors and it turns out I was pregnant with Desiree. So I thought, what am I going to do? Have the baby and pretend it's Graham's or tell this Terry bloke. So I got in contact with him and I told him and I told him all about Graham and he said, well, you got to tell him all about it because I'm not playing second best. So Terry took me inside and I met his mum and I said, hi, Chucky, can I please use your phone for a second? And I called Graham up and I told him and he did not take it well. He hit the roof, he did. And I said, at the end of the day, I'm pregnant. It wasn't working anyway, so, you know, so be it. This is the end. And so he started begging me, please, please, I'll raise the baby like it's my own. And I said, get real. And so I hung up on his face. So the next thing what happens is Graham's sister comes around. I don't know how she found out where Terry lives. I still do not know to this day, but Graham's actually told his sister what happened. So she came around and she's banging on the door and she's like, come outside, you slut. You slut, come outside. So I thought, stuff you. And I went outside and she started slapping me in the face. So the next thing, Terry bolts out the door, pins her to the ground, you know, to try and stop her. And she's like, get off me, get off me. And she spits in his face and I just snapped. Dirty 
filthy pig and I walked up and I kicked her right in the ear. Well the next thing you know she's started screaming and gets in a car and goes off and then a few hours later Graham comes to Terry's as well and I said Terry stay inside this is between me and Graham and I said Graham I told you it's over and he said yeah well there's bigger dramas now because now my sister can't hear in one ear and I said she wants to come around mouth and off not my problem you know so anyway that's how we met. There's a bit more drama, but I'll wait till someone asks a question about it. You know, ask a new question, say, um, did you have any drama with Terry's family? And I might answer it. All right, Chucky, so you can add me on my Facebook site, and it's www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes AU for Australia. And you can add me on my Twit site, and that is at Sherilyn Barnes. Hashtag when Terry met Sherilyn, you know, like when Harry met Sally. The other one is my Instagram site and that is at Sherilyn Barnes as well. And make sure you click subscribe and see all the YouTubes what I've got. Alright, let's leave it at that. Ciao for now, chookies. Uh -uh.